that was like the like good kind of work that you guys needed to kind of keep it up towards the regular season. Yeah, like, what did you take from that? Uh, just honestly, just getting game reps, uh, going against somebody else other than your teammates. Yeah. You know, um, they kind of understand what you do and, and how your body moves and what. <coughs> Excuse me. What type of plays we run and stuff like that. So, going against new bodies and going out there and, and, and playing 100% was really really fun. It seems like there are probably more 53-man roster-worthy receivers than there are going to be roster spots. Like it, it, it just seems like the depth of, of this group is really strong. Kind of like what's that meeting room like, and kind of like what's the dynamic among all these pretty talented guys. You know what? I think our room is really really fun right now. I think we're having we have a good balance of having fun and, and, and honing into our craft and, and really understanding what's going on in the playbook and, and on the field. So I think it's a good combination of who we have in there. And like you said, I think we have a lot of talented guys who, who you know, who could make a 53-man roster, but how the NFL works, it, it may not shake out that way. But um, I, think, I think we're balancing it out very well. When you see guys like JJ and Zay, who are kind of new to this organization and go out and make big plays in big moments? Like, does the entire position group get like get excited for when those guys can stand out? What I mean, it's it's huge, and you know, um, they're out there trying to showcase their talents just like us. And when they do it, I mean, that's your brother who you've been working out here with for I don't know how long. So, to see them uh, succeed and shine is is all that you can ask for. Where are you in terms of? getting ready for week one, are you quote unquote on schedule, whatever that means, in terms of how you've been able to kind of I've been up? waiting. What? I've been waiting. Yeah, it's yeah, time. Yeah, I think it's time to play some football, for real, for real. I'm sorry if you already asked this, but what do you just want to get out of this third and final preseason? Uh, just keep on getting more game reps. Um, that's it, just getting comfortable in the game again, getting used to the bumps and nicks that football brings, and, and yeah. What do you feel like feels the most different at this point in this training camp right now compared to maybe last year? Intensity. Um, I feel like we're going much harder and uh, we're focusing on details that that I don't think we could have gotten to last year. Um, I think, I want to say we're further ahead, but I think we're, we, we can see that we could be further ahead and, and we're doing that right now. Who has maybe impressed you to this point that you're going, okay, they're on my radar? Mm. The obvious one is probably Bijan. Um, we got we got Janu. Who else we got? Honestly, everybody. You know what? I think everybody has been has been has been lift up lifting the standards of, of just everybody around here. So I think everybody's putting in the work to be honest. Wait, there's a lot of bodies in the wide receiver room. What have you noticed in the competition of these other guys like Josh and uh, I know Penny's hurt, but like some of those other guys down there on the depth chart? I think it's pushing all of us to be great, you know? Um, they're out there doing their thing. We're out here. I mean, just as a collective, we've been putting on a, a pretty good showcase, and, and I would love to keep it going, and uh, I, I think that's what they're doing. Anyone in particular catch your eye that, you know, you've watched during the preseason so far, maybe? Uh, like all of them. Um, Lil Zay, Lil Swole Body Zay. Um, Key's been doing a great job. JJ, Slade, Penny. I mean, you can name all of them. They have contributed at least more than twice on the field, and, and that's all I care about. I just ask Coach inside, what feels different at this stage going into the last preseason game this year compared to last year? Yeah, I think it's just intensity, how I was saying before. Um, I think we're more locked in and more focused on, on the goal, uh, a collective goal at that. How nice is it to know that Kyle Pitts is going to be healthy? Amazing. I mean, you need a unicorn out there at some point, right? So I think he's back and healthy, and uh, we're excited to, to see him just thrive and, and excel how we know he can. When you talk about a unicorn, what, what really makes him? I mean, I don't think you're supposed to be 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and being able to run like that. I don't, <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of humans out there who are able to do that and able to break down and run routes like how he does. So um, it's special to have him on our team for sure. With the with the collection of talent that, that you guys do have, do you anticipate maybe you might get more favorable mashups than maybe you were dealing with last year? Could that be kind of a side effect of having all these guys? To be, to be honest, it really doesn't matter. I'm just worried about lining up and winning games at the end of the day. If they want to triple team me, if they want to double team me, go all ahead. We got a lot of players who go out there and make plays and mismatches, um, make, make their mismatches pay. So um, if they want to do that, I'll let, I'll let the other dogs eat for sure. Kind of tight end or a wide receiver, really. What do you think? What do you think? He looks more like a wide receiver to me. I think he's both. I think 
I think he could, yeah, I mean, he's a hybrid. He could do anything, really. Like I said, he's 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, runs a sub 4'4". Four, four. I mean, he could go in there and block, and he could go out, out wide, and he could run routes. So I think he could do everything. That's what makes him the unicorn he is. And help? Thank you, Drake. Thanks, Appreciate Drake. you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, so far, so smooth. I appreciate the Falcons organization for giving me a shot coming in late in the camp. And I've just been trying to put my best foot forward every game. I think definitely still getting used to our scheme, but, you know, I, I think it does give me the ability to shine. The O-line is doing a heck of a job. So I've been trying to make my mark at running back, also trying to make my mark at, on special teams. So, so far, it's been smooth, hoping to, to continue to build on top of it. How would you describe the culture here? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great culture, great great group of guys. Um, running back room is awesome. Extremely talented from top to bottom. Uh, definitely a host and a range of guys, but um, a humble group of guys, humble and talented, which I think allows guys like me to come in and thrive and, and learn from them and ask questions, et cetera. I think there's a confidence that we all carry. That's like, we can we can help each other out, we can build each other up and all thrive, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, as you guys know, was a safety in college and uh, my start of my NFL career. So, you know, I've, I've always been a guy that's never been afraid of contact, like to deliver the first blow. Um, but I like to, you know, I consider myself a complete back because I, I hit the hole hard. But if you give me some time and space, I'm definitely making the first man miss every time, but also pride myself on breaking arm tackles. So, you know, my motto is just hit the hole hard, you know, try to get those extra yards. And if there's daylight, you know, see what else we can do with it. But it's definitely a mentality. What, and maybe confidence isn't the right term, but having two solid performances in a row, back to back, is it, how would you describe that, like, that effect on you as you work through the preseason? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think at the end of the day, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to make 53 man roster. And I think the preseason games have been great, but, you know, really starts out here in practice. You know, from the first day I was out here, just trying to gain the coach's trust because that's what it's going to come down to. A guy they can put out there and trust to know what he's doing, um, whether I have the ball in my hands or not, whether I'm blocking, whether I'm running a route, um, whether I'm on special teams. So just really just building that trust and trying to get in the playbook and allow the coaches to know I know where I'm supposed to be at and then let the talent show for itself. Working with uh, Michael Dimitri, obviously trying to catch up with the scheme and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How has he been to work with and what kind of an asset has he been no, he's been he's been a huge asset. He's a he's a heck of a coach. I think he he likes to say that he has a, a teaching style. That's kind of his background, so it definitely pans out like that when he coaches us as well. He's he's a real cool dude. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Um, there's a lot of competition in that wide receiver room right now. A lot of bodies. Yeah. Uh, what have you noticed from that room? It's sort of the competition that's been amplified now that there's one preseason game left. Yeah. Um, you know the competition has been high the whole time. The competition will continue to be high until week 17 and onward. Uh, our goal is to compete every day. Our goal is to know that nothing is, is set in stone. Everything is a work day. Everybody is working. Everybody is competing. Uh, and that's the message that's been in our room, and that's the message that will continue to stay in our room. And you're a veteran in this league now. What 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 is something about you know wide receivers who may be a little bit further down the depth chart and need to work their way up to, to earn a roster spot? Like, What is something that people need to know about that, how difficult it might be sometimes? Yeah, it's a tough spot. I was there, uh, really majority of my career. Uh, special teams is how I've been able to continue to thrive in this league. Uh, so if you can't play special teams, more power to you because that probably means you're like a top 10 pick or something and your pockets are full and you're well gifted. So more power to you. Uh, but other than that, you better know how to make a tackle or protect somebody that can return or be very fast and be able to return. Do you feel like you're going to play a lot of special teams this year or no? I hope so. I love special teams. Yeah. Hey, that's where men are made. With lack of patience and breaking people down but building them up, how does that come into play as a teammate in a receiver room? And I don't mean that like in a negative connotation, yeah. just like as people dynamics. Yeah, as I've gotten older, I've definitely got better. Um, if you ask like my college coaches, there was many a time I almost got kicked out of practice for like saying too much or like doing too much. Um, but learning the dynamic of each player, it's, you know, I'm seven years into the league. Things are a lot different with the guys I play with that I came in with versus the guys that just got in the league. Um, so understanding how to better, I guess, approach them or talk to them 
Uh, not a, you know, Drake is not the same as Red, is the same as Scotty, is the same as John. Like, everybody's different. But knowing how to have all of them, but then still have a, the same overall message um, is important. So what receiver has challenged you the most? And challenged me? And I don't mean that like in a confrontation manner, but just in a way of having to evolve. Um, I think they all do. As I get older, they come in younger and they come in uh, with, with springier legs and feeling better and a better, you know, the grass is so green and luscious perspective on, on life. And it's great because it always brings me back to, to center and but then also pushes me like, all right, I, if I can't keep up with the young boys, they're going to eventually kick me out. So I got to got to up my game. We've heard a lot of talk about position this football uh, from Smith and others. And, and um, so for, for a guy like you who, who's open to, to new concepts, um, when you have a running back or tight end or running backs uh, go out and line up wide at times, how do you like that uh, part of this offense? Yeah, I mean, but if it ends up with a W, I don't care if they put me at left tackle or they put me at left bench. Like It doesn't matter as long as there's a W at the end. Of course, I'd love to play every snap. and love to be the guy that has 10,000 yards and touchdowns, but if that doesn't equate to wins, I play this game to win. I've played it long enough to not care about the stats as much as the wins. How many positions can you play then? Um, I mean, obviously receiver. I played running back growing up, so I could do that. Uh, we had a quarterback drill out here. I did do the best. My arm motion is probably the worst on the team, but <laughs> Stats are stats. Uh, long snapper is probably like the most proficient thing I'm at, other than receiver. Did anyone uh, ever actually try you with that? Yeah, anymore? I was a backup long snapper at basically every team I've been on. Uh, that's that would be a nice career, back end, you know, gain some weight, snap the ball, 75 reps a year, 100 yard reps a year. That'd be nice. But that million dollar check. Vet yeah, check just him. take that vet min check and, <laughs> and just all day. Uh, yeah, but no, obviously receiver is my thing. I would, if coach wants me on something else, it would take some training, but at the end of the day, we all train, and if that's what's going to help us win, then you try and, and do it. Are you an emergency long snapper here? <laughs> um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it right now. I'm trying to bump my way in. I don't know if I have the weight for it, but we'll see.